Rajal was out there for several hours. I saw families playing in their yard, doing homework outside, or trying to find an open business just to stay cool. Many I spoke with say they don't know what they're going to do if this continues. It may be California's hottest and longest heat wave for this time of year. It's been torture, seriously. Like, uh, I'm almost ready to pull out the water hose and go old school. Not even our transformers have been able to handle it, leaving thousands in South San Francisco and the South Bay without power for hours and searching for a way out. We try to go to a couple libraries, but this library uh, shut down and then other libraries uh, were sort of overpacked as well. Just been outside looking around, just playing with my bowl. In the East Bay, power outages forced Diablo Valley College to cancel all in-person classes at Pleasant Hill. Sucks. I had work to do. I had homework to get done, but now the library is closed and everything. So, yeah. The record demand for energy has forced Cal ISO to issue a stage three alert, meaning PG&E may start implementing rotating outages any minute. Their emergency operations center has been monitoring the situation, all while notifying another 500,000 of possible planned blackouts. Governor Newsom says the risk is real and immediate. Everyone has to do their part to help step up for just a few more days. Individuals, the state, industries, business, all doing their part to help reduce strain on the grid. With peak temperatures expected to continue until Friday, Newsom has extended the state's emergency response as a way to increase energy production. Anything to prevent extended outages that families across the Bay Area may not be prepared to handle. It feels like it's raining on us, just a heat rain, you know, so... I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do it tonight. Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.